Hi cats and kittens, it's Amy from Saber Salvage Scent and today I come to you to talk about um, three of my favorite cherry centered scents. Um, I thought it would be fun to choose this note and talk about it today because the three scents I've chosen I think make a nice transition from the warmer months into the colder months. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much. Um, if you are enjoying this content, I hope you'll give the video a thumbs up and I hope that you will subscribe and stay in touch, leave comments. If you have ideas, suggestions for reviews, I would love to hear from you. So, um, the scents that I uh, talk about today really range in price from super affordable in the $20 range to very prohibitive, <laughs> for me at least. But I'm a bargain shopper and kept my eye out and I would suggest you to too if you have some holy grail or coveted scents that are beyond your means. Um, so um, I paid from $20 to $80 um, for these bottles and um, we'll tell you a little bit more. Uh, so the first scent um, is what I would call a candied cherry, like a powdered cherry scent. And this is called Sweet by Lolita Lampica. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, this was uh, first released in 2014 um, and it retails, I think for like 40 or 50, but I paid uh, 25 for 2.7 ounce. Um, and the nose is Anne Filippo. Many of you will be familiar with her. She has um, designed many scents for Jo Malone, for Lardison, for Lancome. She created um, Paco Rabanne's Olympia and many scents for YSL. The top notes uh, for this scent are sour cherry and sugar. The mid notes are iris, angelica, and cacao. And the, mus or the base notes are musk and cashmere wood. And this is one of those, I think many scents, while you can learn by reading the notes and you start to see trends and things, um, this doesn't smell exactly as it's described to me, but I love it. Um, it's described as having like a kind of groundbreaking cherry cocoa lip gloss accord. I get the cherry and maybe even the lip gloss. I don't get a lot of cacao or cocoa. Um, maybe the way it translates um, is when it dries down it sounds it smells powdery or has a little bit of a warmth to it. Um, I would say I get you know powdered candy um, cherry kind of scent from this. When it dries down at first I would say it's a little younger more playful Smells a little more like lip gloss for sure when you first spray it. And then when it dries down, you get a little bit more of the violet, a little bit more of the musks. And it's just a fun, affordable, um, powdered cherry candy kind of um, scent for me. It's lovely. So Sweet by Lolita Limpica. And then next on my list um, is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Look at this gorgeous box. It's like lacquered red. And then you open and the bottle is ridiculously beautiful. Um, this like lacquered again or shiny black cherry. And to me this almost looks like oxbud leather. It's just beautiful. And then let's talk about the scent. It's incredible. Um, I'm a lover of Tom Ford. Uh, definitely some of my favorite scents are Tom Ford scents. However, I would say his costs can be prohibitive and some scents that he makes or that um, his group makes are, um, I would say some are worth the, the price tag to me and some are, um, you can find other things that, that kind of fill that niche or that need for the from a lesser price. This to me is unique, original, beautiful. It's my, I would say top two Tom Ford scents right up there with uh, Sahara Noir RIP. <laughs> but this, let me read you a little bit more about the notes and then I'll tell you how it smells in my skin. Um, uh, this is created by Louise Turner. I wasn't familiar with her name right off the bat, but then I looked at her list of what she's created and oh my gosh, so many things. So many for Jo Malone. She did J Lo's Glow. She did a few recent ones for Mugler. Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, which people love. I've still never smelled it. I need to get my nose on that. Chloe Love, Hugo, Hugo Boss for her, so many. Um, many that are really, I would say, popular and exciting. Um, the top notes are black cherry, cherry liqueur, and bitter almonds. 
The mid notes are uh, Gria syrup, which are like a Morella, a French Morello cherry syrup, um, Turkish rose, and jasmine, sandback jasmine. The base notes are Peribalm, roasted tonka, sandalwood, vetiver, and cedar. And this to me, it's funny, I think part of the reason uh, Tom Ford scents have done so well is they're great, sexy advertisers, man. And this name, some of the more sexual or suggestive names, I'm like, well, you guys, come on. This actually deserves its name. <laughs> it is a really sexy, sensual, seductive, boozy, lush cherry liqueur. It smells to me like and the sandback jasmine, it even gives it like a heaviness or ripeness. It's sultry. It's like sex and cherries. It's crazy. It's beautiful. Um, I would say sexy for a cherry scent. Again, boozy. I could see this being perfectly unisex though. I mean, again, I'm into like you wear it, you love it. Um, but for me, this, um, this could definitely... Um, Fit everybody on the gender spectrum and I think it could be worn all seasons because it's light enough with the cherry and playful enough that you could wear it in the hotter weather but I think um, things like the roasted tonka and the booziness um, would lend really nice scents to fall or winter months too. Um, I also have to be honest I think part of the reason I love this so much is it pulls on my scent memory um, because um, my some of my um, uncles growing up um, used cherry tobacco and I smell this I smell it in this and I smell it in the next scent I'm gonna talk about too but this um, I think retails for like god between like 300 and 350 dollars youch so would never be able to purchase it just on a kick I watched an a couple auctions on eBay and for some reason this did not get bid on much and I got it for just over eighty dollars and that that is a high price for me like i only buy one or two of those expensive price tags a year and this to me was so worth it so i would say if you're excited about it try to get your nose on it and sample if you can or at least try to get it at an auction for a really good price but um really really beautiful totally worth it and heck i mean if you have the funds and it's a retail store near you do it it's beautiful gorgeous gorgeous scent and to me would be such an incredible gift i mean in this in this um, beautiful presentation so tom ford's lost cherry boozy seductive sensual just gorgeous um last on the list um i think is also a great uh summer to fall or winter fragrance this is Youp Leben. Um, so I have to thank so many YouTubers for sharing this as being like one of the best cheapies on the market. And I can't think of a better affordable, seemingly high-end fragrance. I mean, this to me is so good. If it was two, three hundred dollars, people would buy it. It's gorgeous. I cannot believe how good it is. And I want to try the other Youp fragrances for this reason, but I paid about, I think, 21 for a, um, I think this 2.5 ounce bottle. And this is interesting because when I read the notes, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it, um, two things are surprising to me. One, um, I get prominent cherry tobacco and neither of those things are listed as notes. So it must just be the way it all translators and composed, for me at least. The other thing that's interesting is this was created in 1989, and this to me smells so current, so like on trend um, as far as the niche world. Um, so the top notes are aldehydes, orange blossom, bergamot, and lemon. The mid notes are sandalwood, jasmine, uh, lily of the valley, cedar, and rose, and the base notes are tonka, amber, patchouli, musk, and vanilla. Um, I'm gonna spray this on me because it's so good. And at twenty dollars a bottle, I mean, do it. This is such a great scent. The minute I got it and smelled it, I was like, I can't even believe this. Like two days later, I got, I bought another bottle because it's so good. Um, what I get um, when this, when I spray this, is um, roasty cherry tobacco but somehow I get this steaminess too it's so weird like the name Laban totally or the bath 
totally works for me because it is, um, it smells like, you know, when you've been in a steamy shower and you're wrapping yourself up with a towel, maybe you just use some nice products. It's what that air smells like to me. It's like steamy, but yet I also get this, don't ask me why, these things translate or are um, to each other from the bath to cherry tobacco, but I also get this like cherry tobacco feel. My guess is it's the base notes giving this warmth of this tobacco nature. And then I get a bit of a cherry scent too. And I, so I was thinking when I was looking at the notes that this was going to have, um, oh shoot, what is the heliotrope? I thought I was gonna have heliotrope, but they sometimes call cherry pie plant because it's got like a cherry, almondy, powdery, tobacco-y kind of vibe. But none of these things are in here. <laughs> But I'm telling you, this is what I get. And when I've read about it, this is kind of what other people get too, is like um, bathy amberiness, but also a cherry tobacco kind of thing. It's wild because of the steamy bath kind of nature. You could definitely wear this in the warmer or the warmer months, but I also think some of its notes will really lend itself beautifully to the fall too. So highly recommend another really great bargain by Youps Le Bon. So I would love to hear from you to know, do any of you have any favorite scents that are cherry prominent? Um, what are cherry prominent scents that I have not explored that I need to look into? Please tell me. And last but not least, do you like cherry liqueur? After reviewing these, I need to go get a bottle. Cheers. Have a great day. Bye.